Welcome everybody back to day two of my water fast. Oh, it was great. I cannot complain. I felt good. Um, I incorporated this time some tea on my second day, which worked very well. I used the empty bottle of this. I've been drinking this as well for water, but I used the empty bottle of this to put tea in. So day two, I chose uh, Everyday Detox Tea by Traditional Medicinals. In the next video, I'll put them up. When I'm done with uh, like a week, I'll do a com uh, compilation of my whole week uh, video of that. So you'll see everything. Or I'll put it down in the bottom so you can see if you want to purchase it yourself. That's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands. Traditional Medicinals. I love their tea. Um, they're organic. And I've used them before when I had sore throats and it knocked it right out. So I said, let me stick with it. The one I used had a combination of like burdock root, um, lemon peel, myrtle lemon, and all that. And the reason why I did that, because like I mentioned before in the first video, is that I have underlying issues, medical issues. So I did not want to choose something or just do water only and choose something that wasn't gonna benefit me, that Everyday Detox has almost everything in it. It has iron, vitamin C, which helps you absorb the iron, uh, zinc, magnesium, loads of antiviral, antibacterial, um, uh, microbe, the whole nine. So that's the reason why I chose it. I drank two canisters of it yesterday and I was getting back pain, which I always had the back pain prior, but the first day of my fasting, I didn't have any back pain. The second day, I incorporated the tea. I was, I started feeling it a little bit. It's not as bad as it normally is, but I, I was feeling it. So today, I do have tea again, but I switched up and I'm using green tea. So what I'm doing is I'm not using the same teas every day. The first, the second day, um, I did green tea. Today I'm actually on my third day, that's why I'm saying today <laughs> I'm doing green tea. I'll do a video letting you know how my third day went, but I'm on my third day right now, but I'm doing the video about my second day. So the results I can say is that I felt good. I wasn't really hungry, it's just that once I smelled food, I, you know, I got hungry. But I'm not like experiencing hunger, hunger pains like people say. I am feeling a lot in my stomach. I don't know if it's gas or whatever, but a lot of noise, a lot of movement. I feel a lot of stuff going on. I had me thinking at one point, do I have like a parasite or something? That's how, <laughs> that's how much movement I was feeling in my stomach and everything else. It, it, it was just odd. But yeah, um, as far as bowel movements for the second day, I definitely had one. I've been urinating a lot more, but I definitely did have a bowel movement and it wasn't you know bad it was actually better than prior to me doing the fast so we'll see how the third day goes but as far as the second day I could tell you I'm feeling good I feel like I have tons of energy uh, the other thing I could say is my sleeping is definitely being disrupted because I think I have too much energy because by the time I get home from work which I get home late night I'm not tired like I've noticed from day one and day two, like I'm not sleeping till about three, four in the morning, which isn't good because I need to go to sleep. I was trying to get my melatonin and, uh, you know, my meridian and all my, you know, rhythmic, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> in tuned and balance as far as my sleep and everything else. But I noticed this first two days I have not been able to sleep. I've been wide awake, but I have been still waking up early, like nine in the morning. Regardless, like the other day I went to sleep, by the time I fell asleep was 4 o'clock in the morning and I still woke up around 9, 10. That was day one. Day two, same thing. So it definitely has messed up my sleep pattern. Um, I did have a slight headache, but nothing to scream about. You know, I just thought maybe dehydration, I mean, you probably drink more water. Because you know, they say like when you're a certain weight, that a certain amount of water that you should be drinking so for I think for me I should be having at least like a gallon a day <laughs> but you know 
and with this not eating thing so I probably should be increasing the intake of water that I'm having which I'm going to do that on day three and let you guys know how that is so as far as day two there's not much to report like I said bowel wounds are fine urination is fine overall health how I'm feeling I definitely feel good I know I've seen a lot of people saying that they tired or they're um you know overexerted or they just you know sluggish I haven't been feeling sluggish like I'm, I'm like ready to go to see how quick I'm talking I talk fast anyway but I'm like I have tons of energy you know, I'm not gonna say that at one point I might not be like oh I feel a little whatever but I think that's usually like around the time that I eat that maybe I'm feeling like that because I noticed that from day one to day two is usually around the time that I normally eat that I, I'm feeling like that but overall for the duration of the entire day no I'm like perfect I'm like ready to go you know and I, so far so good second day we're gonna shoot and see how far we can take this how far I can go my short-term goal is 20 days my long-term goal is 40 I know right even here in the foyer you're like whoa but I've, I've read about people doing it I heard about people going more than 40 days like again I'm doing it more for um, physical and medical well-being you know I've been going through a lot the past couple years with all kind of things coming back to back and I just figured you know what maybe I have an underlying issue that is not being addressed and maybe the fast would be like you know a way to reset my body and reset my um, hormones and you know and start off new when I do actually complete the fast like start eating properly and incorporate a lot more nutrition uh, nutritional foods in my diet and things like that so I will go over that with you guys too because I'm gonna do a compilation of the first week second week and the complete 40 or however I, how many I do if I if I can make it to 20 if I can't make it to 20 I'm gonna do a compilation of that you know however far I can go but my goal is to eventually one at one day in time reach 40 days with complete fasting with only water and tea so let me know what you guys think if you have any questions feel free to comment if you want to know what I'm drinking how I'm drinking it what times and things like that feel free to comment and subscribe and hit the like button all right thank you for guys for joining me on this journey Catch you next time.